YouTube. Here's another how-to video on BMWs, this time on my E46. Just got one of these in the mail today via eBay. It's a home link and currently the car does not have it installed so let's go ahead and check out how to put this thing in without having to buy in the new center console. So here we are inside the E46. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is remove the light section here. I'm just going to let that hang down. And then we can go ahead and pop out the panel. And your home link connection, which is a three pin connection, will be right up here, right next to the uh, moonroof motor. And it is Velcroed, which is kind of cool. Or actually, it's sticky taped. So, what we'll want to do is remove this tape here and then get access to uh, the pin connection on the inside there which does match the inside of this one now there are two kinds of home link connectors um as i said i bought this one off of ebay uh there are this is just a simple code uh door garage door opener uh with two different or three different codes on it so i'd uh, say you have a gate and then a the garage door you want to go through then you can have at least two codes to do that or even more um, I'm sure there's other options you can do hook up to this as well so but what we're looking for to, to, to get this out and I'll do that um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this section out which is already pre-cut and um, basically when that's popped out then we can go ahead and install that so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect these uh, which is should be just a simple pull out like that and then we'll go ahead and start scoring the inside of the, the panel to get the home link in there all right, so we're back. So as you can see, I've cut the fabric around the outside edge of the uh, insert that's in there. And you can see it's not cut cleanly, but close enough. So what we're gonna go, go ahead and do now is actually install this. And it goes like this. So it goes in there, push it in. And hopefully it pops in. So. Let me push the tabs and that might help. There we go. Well, I'm gonna have to do two hands on this, so I'll be right back. And there we go. With just a little bit of effort with two hands, I've gotten it in. So uh, we'll go ahead and install this in the car now and see if it works and then program it. So as you can see now, I've got everything wired back up. Uh, that's the connector for there that was uh, tucked up in the inside of here. And basically just untucked it and then stuck it into the, the home link system. So, um, or the adapter. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this back in now. Let's see. There's that. And then we gotta put the, the uh, the light back in and then uh, turn the car on and get it programmed and there's the whole thing back together so uh let's go ahead and grab the keys and start programming this thing so the for the non-rolling code garage doors you push and hold this button until it stays and then actually hold on a second what we need to do is actually push this the garage door opener and the, this other button at the same time. So we're gonna go and do that. So the garage door will open and close from the clicker, but it won't do it from here. So that means that we have a rolling code garage door opener. So uh, earlier, rolling codes, yeah, I lied about that. Sorry about that. Um, the, 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 the unit I have actually does do rolling codes. So back here, we've got a purple button. And if you push the purple button, it sets it into programming mode. So what I'll do is go ahead and run into the car real quick and push the button that I want to program and hopefully it'll work. So be right back. You're hitting the, the uh, purple button on the back of your garage door opener. You want to keep pushing it until it closes the garage door. As you can see right there, it's closing the garage door. Yay for closed garage doors. All right, so uh, that's how pretty much you program the home link for your garage door opener. And I'm going to go and open it up right now.
At least I should. There we go. So we're all set. That's all programmed. It's installed and we're good to go. You guys have any questions, let me know. Leave them in the comments below and I'll go ahead and answer them for you. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and as always, do your thing.